So now we're going to look at how to design the low pass and high pass butterworth filter from a standard normalized design of second order and third order, which also called two pole and three pole designs. So those are standard normalized designs that are given to us. As you can see over here, this is the low pass. So you have um, two or second order, you have two capacitors, as I mentioned, in number of uh, capacitor represent number of order. And for three pole or three uh, third order, you have three capacitors. And then you have resistor values. Observe that um, these, this is the compensation resistor. So uh, basically this, the value depends on these, whatever value you will have over here. And likewise, this is the compensation resistor that is established to, um, uh, uh, that is that is designed to establish the gain of one because these are unity gain design. So um, we can create, of course, if it is only second order, then this is our filter. And then of course, we have to use the frequency scaling and impedance scaling to change the values of resistors and capacitors. If it is three pole, again, this is your filter. You're going to change the values of capacitors and resistor using frequency and, and impedance scaling. If it is four section or four pole or fourth order, then you have to combine two two poles. If it is fifth order, you have to combine a two pole and a three pole. If it's a sixth order, you can combine two two poles and, and so on and so forth. So. Uh, these are again a standard design uh, and we're going to start with these designs now look at this table 8.1 it's it's given in your book and these this table represent the capacitor values of the two pole and three pole sections so two pole sections c1 is 1.414 henry uh, uh, farad and c2 is 0 0.7071 c1 is the top one and c2 is the bottom one c1 is here so the first capacitor starts on top and then from the left C2 and then goes to towards the right as C3 and stuff. And for the three pole section, the top one is 3.546, the left one is 1.392, and the right one at the bottom is 0 0.2024. Now, for the fourth section, you have to combine, you have to cascade two two poles. So the capacitor values for the first section are these, and the capacitor value of the second section are these. And these are standard values, right? Before we make any changes. For the fifth order, first you're going to put a three pole filter right don't put the two pole first first you're going to put a three pole filter and these are the capacitor values and then that will be followed by a two pole and these are the capacitor value for the two pole uh, for the sixth order filter you have three two poles the capacitor value for the first section is this second section is this and third sections are these and for the seventh order filter first there will be a three pole filter with these capacitor values. And remember, resistors are all one ohm, uh, as it is shown in the, the, you know, the standard filters. And this is followed by two two-pole circuits. This is the, for the first one, and this is for the second one, capacitor values. So if you are, you know, w once you determine what is the uh, order number of, uh, of the circuit from what we studied uh, in the last topic, once you determine what is the order number, you're gonna go uh, if you're designing the low pass filter, you're gonna go to this table and you're gonna put together the two standard filters if, if both of them are required. If only one or two poles are required, then you're just gonna put multiple two pole filters. And then you're gonna assign the standard values to the capacitor and the resistor values, of course, uh, are as shown on the circuit. And then first, you are going to apply frequency scaling. So if it, uh, uh, the, all these filters have one radian per second as their standard cutoff frequency, one radian per second, the standard cutoff frequency. Now, if you have to change that, then of course, as we discussed, first you're gonna do frequency scaling, calculate the new values of capacitors or intermediate value of capacitors, and then you're gonna perform um, uh, impedance scaling, and that will give you the final values of capacitors and resistors. Uh, when you're doing impedance scaling, it is possible uh, that I ask you different values, final values of capacitors or resistors for each section. So you can, then you will have to do impedance scaling for each section separately. 
and then using the impedance factor for each section you're going to change the values of capacitor and resistor only for that section so that uh, this is also uh, a valid way to design the system instead of having one impedance factor for the whole circuit if let's say if your circuit is uh, sixth order so you have three sections of two so instead of having one uh, impedance factor for the whole circuit you can have one impedance factor for the first section one impedance for the uh, second section and uh, another impedance factor for the third section and each section will be the values of each section will be changed according to its impedance factor okay so either uh, uh, one factor for the whole circuit and values will be changed based on that factor or individual factor for each section and values will be changed for that section uh, just using the impedance factor for that section so <coughs> all right this, so this is i discussed already with you let's look at the example uh, five pole active low pass filter with three decibel frequency of two kilohertz so first we're going to go ahead and calculate the uh, so first we're going to put together the the two um, circuits the three pole first and the two pole second right as given in the table 8.1 all these values are given are from the table 1.1 and then we're going to go ahead and calculate the frequency scanning factor first based on the cutoff frequency of 2 kilohertz and it came out to be 12,566 next we are going to divide all of the capacitor values by kf so we divided all the capacitor values in this by kf and these will be our new values or you can call it intermediate values all right so now let's assume that we are targeting the values of resistor in the first stage to be 27 kilo ohm so all these and in the second stage to be 22 kilo ohm. this this right again this this value depend upon these so we are going to calculate the impedance scaling factor for the first stage based on the targeted values of resistance so the new value of resistor divided by old, so 27,000 over 1, 27 kilo ohm, uh, and it should be only 27k actually, not ohm, because kr1 unit is not ohm. So I'll have to fix this. So this will only be 27k, and this is only be 22k. All right, and the kr2, since we want these values to be uh, 22 kilo ohm, so we calculate the impedance scaling factor for the second section to be 22,000. So now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to divide all the capacitors with by the KR values of that section and we're gonna multiply all the resistors by the KR value of that section and that will give us the final circuit. And that's what we did over here. <coughs> okay, the next is high pass Butterworth filter, unity gain design and exactly the same thing you have um, second two pole and three pole but observe uh, the capacitors and resistors have switched their position so capacitors are here now in this with the standard values of one farad and resistors are here and of course in the uh, unity feedback loop so two second order and third order and again you have table 8.2 where resistor values are given to you from the two uh, uh, two designs and again it goes fourth order fifth order sixth order seventh order and if you are making higher order you have to um, cascade uh, multiple two poles and three poles and those register values are not the same they are different but they are given in this table as we discussed for the low pass filter so example number five design a four pole active high pass filter with three decibel frequency of eight kilohertz the final values of capacitor should be 10 nanofarad so we do exactly the same thing. First, we're going to calculate the frequency scaling factor because the standard frequency, uh, cutoff frequency is one radian per second. So first, we're going to calculate the new frequency, which is two pi times 8,000 radian per second, 16,000 pi radian per second, divided by one radian per second. So 16,000 pi is the frequency scaling factor. So we go ahead and we divide um, all the, uh, sorry, uh, we go ahead and oh, this is a standard model that I'm showing you so we divide all the capacitor values from the standard model by the value of kf and we did not change the values of r's right now 
So we went ahead and changed all the value capacitor values and each value came out to be since they were all one microfarad or one farad sorry all the values came out to be 19.8944 microfarad okay the next is we are targeting for the final value of capacitor to be 10 nanofarad right so we're going to do impedance scaling when we're going to do impedance scaling you will have uh, impedance scaling is what yeah. oh, come on yeah so impedance scaling kr and since all the values of capacitor has to be 10 nanofarad so we don't have to do for each section of it we can calculate 1 kr value which is c old over c new and c old is 159 what is that no 19.8944 19.89 uh, 19.8944 micro and divided by uh, what is the value that we're shooting for 10 nanofarad 10 nanofarad is going to be 0 0.01 micro so mm -hmm. micro will be cancelled out right so that is going to give me uh, what one nine um, eight nine point four four so that's going to be impedance uh, scaling factor <coughs> and when we go over there all the final values of capacitor will be 10 nanofarad for both the stages and then each value of resistor is going to be multiplied by the impedance scaling factor 1989 so 0 0.94 9242 times 1989 is going to be the final value of this resistance 1.8386 and likewise each value is going to be multiplied by the impedance scaling factor to give you the final values of resistance and this circuit is going to be our final circuit that will give us the cutoff frequency of uh, what 2 kilohertz it was cutoff frequency of uh, 8 kilohertz and final values of capacitor will be 10 nanofarad this is how we will design it